Hey guys, welcome back to the Game Replay. I'm Dave the Usher. The game we're playing is Final Fantasy X HD Remaster for the Sony PlayStation 3. Good stuff. Okay, here we are. We're right outside of the uh, Xanarkin Cloister of Trials. It's a very unique, interesting, different kind of Cloister of Trials. But, you know, they started off kind of the same, you know, with Besaid and Kilika and Jose, and then it started getting a little different. And here we are, we're in the Xanarkin Dome, we're gonna go back inside and we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do this trial. There's a couple of things, uh, to this trial, you know, um, we're gonna take care of a lot right now, and then, kinda like with Thanksgiving, there's always leftovers. I kind of like the uh, floor lighting effect, that's kind of cool, and that happens uh, several times throughout all this stuff. Uh, okay, so, you know, as some of you probably know, I did a PlayStation 2 Final Fantasy X uh, walkthrough a uh, little bit ago. Uh, that walkthrough took me a long time. Uh, I might have said stuff uh, in this recording or just on Facebook, Twitter, that kind of thing. Uh, it was a big process because recording PS2 games and then you have to do like a double rendering process and you gotta do a bunch of stuff to make it look nice and it's just a big nightmare. And that walkthrough took me a long time, but uh, at the end here, you know, it's not that long ago, but it's kind of still semi-recent. Uh, well, last year, I think. So this should be fresh in my mind. So basically, uh, this is the first room of the Cloister of Trials and uh, we gotta step on, you know, you see the little white light dots on the uh, on the floor. Let's get a wrong one. Uh, we have to activate uh, certain colors. There, there's a wrong one. That is one of the white square boxes, and uh, if you step on one of those throughout the Xanarkin Cloister of Trials, uh, basically it's like a reset. So it's kind of like a memory game. You guys, you dig, you understand. It's kind of like a memory game. So if you mess up, you gotta like remember, okay, that one and that one and boppity bop. You can actually kind of look on the floor and really, really see it. Uh, there's a white box one right there next to me and kind of see how it's like a four square. Uh, that one's good. This one is... This one right here wasn't really lit up. Uh, you know, I guess. Couldn't really tell. It's in the back there. The view, the angle. So as soon as we get through, whoop, as soon as we get through this room, then begins the real trials. You? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Whoop. And, uh, one more. There, this one. Okay, good stuff. So, uh, we got the appropriate colors here, you know, the appropriate shapes. It's, uh, look, it's kind of like Tetris. And, uh, pedestals from the left, pedestals from the right. Okay, so we have two in the middle, and, uh, the whole sphere-shaped recesses are there. And then we have, uh, the fronts and the backs, and what we do with these is we push them in. So that activates the puzzle in the next room. And the next room is pretty similar to the last room. I'm just gonna kinda, I'm gonna give you a little tour. We'll take the quick tour here. I'm gonna go around here. So you can see it's bigger and uh, 
crazier than our first room. You know, this kind of like a hole in the center. Okay, seems important, right? I'm sure we're gonna be going down there soon. So yeah, it's basically more of the same. Yeah, it looks kind of, it looks kind of overwhelming. And it, you know, hey, it can be annoying. Even if you know what you're doing, it can kind of be a little annoying. But here's what we're gonna do. Um, we could just start by touching random, uh, you know, little dots and seeing what happens. You can actually come up here and... Oh, well that's, uh, that's useful. Thank you very much. It's actually a couple of spheres here as well. There is a Kilika sphere. And, uh, a Besaid sphere. We can, we can actually remove, uh, this right now. Let's do that. Ooh, <laughs> oh no. It's kind of cool though, actually, don't you think? Usually when I go from this room to to the other room, I will uh, step on just kind of random, you know, random dots, because we might trigger a couple good ones. It's like, what the hell, why don't we just, why don't we just come into this room, hit a couple, maybe we'll get lucky. Oh no. And then make our way to the uh, the monitor. Man, a lot of bad ones up here. Let's put this back. Okay, so now it's time to let's get these. There's four of them, you know the the pedestals in the other room. There's four. Oh, oh bother. <laughs> oh bother. All right, there was that one. I know that. I wanna I wanna get one more good luck. Let's really. We gotta start getting this thing. Okay, I got the majority on that one here. You. And, uh... You. There was another one up here, but now I can't remember. Oof. And you really have to watch out where you're walking. Which one was it? It was... Oh, it was the one right next to it. Okay, so that's our first one. So now this is like inactive. And uh, yeah, there's like a little light symbol thing on here. So basically, what you gotta do is repeat the process. We got that one, and now, yeah, let's do this one. Good stuff. So yeah, like I say, I just kinda, I like to come into the room, get lucky, touching. Yeah, there you go. We touched three good ones. And now let's take a look. It's like some of the work's already done. Uh, okay, the two way on the bottom. Uh, that one right there. And, uh, whoop, whoop, whoop. I think that was a bad one. This one. And these two, and there might have been one more. Uh -huh. Yeah? Oh! Hey now! Okay, that was all after all. So yeah, I just really like kind of coming in, just going like, up, 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 up. Let's get lucky. Hey, what's that on the wall there? Oh, look at this place. Who decorated this place? What do you guys think of the last Cloister of Trials? In a way, it can just be kind of, kind of easy almost. It's like easy, but like annoying and obnoxious. And then, uh, yeah, it can be hard, you know, especially back in the day. It almost looks like some kind of uh, pixelated dude from like Atari. See him there? Look at that. It's kind of funny. Yeah? Yep. Come on! Oh man! Who here wants me to uh, 
push my luck. Let's just, let's, let's take a guess. Let's get crazy here, man. I mean, we know what to do. Think that one? That one right there? No, I'm gonna go for this one. Oh, no. Watch it have been this one. Oh, you see, you see, I should have just stuck with my instincts. Now, I, now I'm totally, I, I don't remember. What about these two? Did I step on one of those? I don't remember now. Ah, uh, let's just, uh, there we go. I'm gonna take a look at the, the monitor. <laughs> you could really just have fun. Try and guess. You can do, you can go about this a real hard way, like, uh, nothing but, like, complete memory and guesswork. But, uh, I'm not doing that because I'm not psychotic. I'm only a little psychotic. Alright, those, those two way down there. Ah, oh, that one right there. Uh, okay. And this one, yeah. And there might have been one more, but there was two over here. Oh no, which two? Oh, this one. Okay, and this one. Right? Yeah. And I think there was one more. Let's not fumble the ball at the five yard line! Uh, oh, I think, did one right over there? Which one was it? The bottom one? Yeah. The bottom one, and I think that was all. Good stuff. There we are. Oh, no, there was another one? I saw you. Okay, we got it. Good stuff. So that takes care of that puzzle. It's no biggie. Uh, Alright, we pushed those two in. We got the one over here. And now this one right here. goes away hmm I was just thinking you know okay we gotta watch out if we leave if I were to like exit for whatever weird reason I think that resets the whole thing and there's no warning uh, I can't confirm this I'm pretty sure I'm right and I'm pretty sure I won't be confirming this in the video because ooh, that would not be good I am not suicidal like that I am not all right, so that kind of looks like, uh, almost like a face. I don't know, I should have been kind of looking at all these and making up things for what those look like. Well, I'm just gonna, oh, square box. We call those the square boxes, the evil ones. I, I don't know, probably not. All right, so I'm just gonna step on a couple here and hopefully get lucky. Yeah, I got lucky. Let's take a look. All right, um, I saw I saw only two. I paid attention to two. You and you. I think there was one or two more, and then that's it, folks. That's pretty much it. Hello. You over there on the left, is that all? Good stuff. Oh no! 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 Oh no! We got careless. Oh! Oh no! What just happened? Oh my work! What if you did that, and not only do I have to do this again, what if I had to go back into this room and put and push all the pedestals in, do the whole thing all over again, all, each and every one of them? Madness. That would be a steep penalty. If that would happen, you would walk through this place like this. Up, 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 <laughs> little by little. Actually, you know what you do? You hold down the circle button, there you go. That's what you really need to do in here. Yeah, get down, Titus. Get down. There you go. Oh, man. How you doing those moves? We are getting crazy, folks. It's the last Cloister of Trials. We have to loosen up, man. 
Uh, okay. So, that one and that one. Is there... Get... There you go. Is there one more? Okay. Um... Oh, my God. <laughs> See? I, I need to do it one more time. It was you. Okay. I got it. Maybe I will walk. We're gonna go for a stroll, folks. Okay, so it's this one. And I'm sure many of you who have played this, that has happened to you. But for some reason, yeah, you never walk. Throughout this game, you have the option to walk. Why the hell would you use that? In a couple games, couple Final Fantasy games before this, you would always just be walking, and, and then you would have to push the button to run! And now it's kind of like a reverse. It makes sense. Um, you right here. And then there was, there was one more, what was it? Oh, it was that one right there. Let's get another look at it. <laughs> okay, it's you. Okay, I got you. I got you, man. Careful. Careful. Ah. Whew. Good stuff, man. Okay, so you go back into this room, and all right, we took care of all the pedestals. There's still one there and one there. So now what we're gonna do is, well, now we have to check out our spheres here. The monitor is, who made this monitor? What, what's the deal with this thing? Who constructed this? Who constructed all of these? Oh man, the questions. So we're gonna take out the Kilika sphere. Oh my, it's dark, but it's okay. All right, so we're gonna put this here. Good stuff. And now we're gonna come back, we're gonna... Now we're gonna be able to take out our Besaid Spear. And you might be wondering, hey, it's a Cloister of Trials, what about the treasure? Well, of course there's a treasure, but we'll get to that when we get to that. Good stuff. We did it. Okay, there's some more of that, uh, white flooring light effect. It's kind of cool, right? That's kind of neat. That doesn't look happy. Look at that, man. That's like danger. Alert, alert. The sphere, the save sphere, has been brought back in here. Hmm, that sounds like a good sign. And, uh, I would take the advice of that because it's about to get crazy. Oh yeah, crazy. So there we are, hello, everyone is set. Yeah, everyone's good. We got overdrives for the people and the Aeons all charged up and uh, the best of the best, boppity bop. So uh, I think I'm prepared enough and uh, let's go do this thing. What's gonna happen? Oh, hello, Mr. Demon from Hell. How are you? It's the Spectral Keeper. Use trigger command move to get out of the way. <laughs> Use move to get the hell out of there. Attacks all frontal targets when when hit. Use trigger commands to get the hell out of there. Uh, okay, so this thing uh, can inflict a couple of status ailments like Berserk. Unfortunately, I don't have anything to protect me against Berserk. So yeah, Berserk can happen. Get ready for that. 
Uh, this thing also uh, will attack us. This thing can also, like, uh, hand out multiple damage if we're all kind of near each other. So, okay, Titus is first, of course. And once again, folks, Haste Taga would be so nice, but... Ooh, uh, I'm just gonna use Haste. I'm gonna do a little Hastage. And, uh... Waka, how you doing? What should we do? Um... Yeah, this thing is immune to, um, I think everything uh, that Waka can dish out. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to show that. Pretty sure he's immune. Oh, wow. Not to silence. Yeah, see, that sucks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move Orin. Look at that. We can move to all these other spheres. What you want to do is you want to have a space in between each character. So there's a space between all of them now. Kind of kind of sucks to waste a turn. Um, man. Guess I'll get haste on a couple of my other characters. This is the part where I get everyone involved and try and do haste and slow and all that kind of stuff. There's the tail. Oh, walk is dead. Uh, well, he would have been berserked, but he's dead. Oh, man. Okay, so, yeah, this is the part where I try and get everyone involved and do haste and slow and status stuff and... But, uh, you know, Yuna and her hands, of course, is gonna be healthy and happy. You know, also, I think Lulu is really useful in this battle and her black magics, uh, but not bio. No, not the bio. Hmm. I'm just gonna do some regular casting here. We don't have to use all of our overdrives. Um, does it matter? I don't think it does. Is there... I wonder if there's even a point to uh, inflict silence on this guy. If he can inflict something when you, uh... Man, he is strong. Oh, my. Oh. Did that... Did that get... No, that didn't get her. Um... I, I will get everyone involved, that is for sure. Kamari is probably not going to be a real asset to this battle, so... Hey, why don't you just come in get Waka back on his feet? This Berserk Tail really sucks. So far, I'm... doing a, an okay job here. Up. Oh. Who haven't I gotten involved? Was that everyone? Well, might as well do silence. So yeah, this thing, uh... Yeah, he has some major, really annoying attacks. Protect would be a good thing to cast. I need to get haste on Yuna. That would be nice. But this thing just keeps on... <laughs> he keeps on coming in here and just killing me, man. Let's get Titus in. Yeah, and that's why. Now I got an extra move. Um, How about this? I'm going to put haste on Yuna. All right, good stuff. Now I'm going to bring Lulu back again. One of us is about to get killed again. <laughs> What's he gonna do? Okay, here it comes. Oh, he's alive! Titus, no! Don't give in to the anger! <laughs> I like how it kind of has to, like, zoom in. You know, like, what is that about? Um, Yuna is on, so... You know, we can take care of that with a little, um... A little heal in here. There we go. And that should do it. Alright, good stuff. So let's see, we got a couple of turns here. What should we do? That is the question. I don't think we can put slow on this guy, but let's try. Every time I do slow, oh, he's immune to that. Oh, that was nice. That was lovely. Let's see. Yuna, Titus, Yuna. 
Yeah, we should summon, shouldn't we? HP. Titus. There we go. Good stuff. I kind of want to get Lulu out of the battle, really. I don't know if I should just kind of wait a little longer, or if I should just summon Aeons now. I mean, once you start doing the summon Aeon stuff, it's kind of like a game over, you know? That's like the end game with the battle here. Remedy should take care of Yuna. Good stuff. There we are. I like this. I got Delay Buster, which would have been nice. Oh, come on. All right, it's time. It's time to, uh, did I get Waka involved in this battle? I believe I did. I think it's time for uh, summoning a little Aeons. There we are. Yuna, get up on your feet. All right, here, here's the Glyph Mine. Now, when this happens, I don't have to, I don't have to rush myself with my talking here, just my turns. I was waiting for this. When the glyph mines happen, you can see, you know, the areas he marked. Uh, yeah, what you want to do is move your characters away ASAP, okay? You want to get the hell out of there. So, uh, let's move. Um, yeah, that sounds good. I guess we have no choice but to get two of our characters right next to each other. Uh, unfortunately, um, Titus is going to get kabonged. <laughs> Okay, I am going to summon... <laughs> I'm gonna summon Bahamut here. I haven't summoned Yojimbo yet, have I? Yojimbo, oh, he is, well, he's something. He can be really awesome, and uh, I'm just gonna tell you, for those of you who don't know, you have to pay Yojimbo for his services. So, uh, hey, Brie, go attack him now, you're an Aeon. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna need a little money for that. Oh, wh what? And you can pay him one gill or a jillion gill, you know, and all in between. And that uh, can affect his attacks and his moves and, oh, there's this, it's a whole thing, folks. I, I will not get into all of that now. But Yojimbo can be saved for a lot of strategic battles and this and that and, uh, okay. I, I'm getting a headache, so who cares? Yeah, we're at Xanarkand. Uh, you would imagine there'd be a couple of boss fights here. Uh, and of course, you know, I would think they'd be hard or harder, you know, crazier. So, of course, you're going to want to just get out the big guns each and every time for these battles. Like, I, I like that. I could have done a Grand Summon. But remember, it's really, it's kind of annoying to charge up that Grand Summon attack for Yuna in the first place. And we might not even get a, a second opportunity to use Bahamut before he gets killed, but, but, oh, there it is. Oh, there, yeah, there it is. So that would have been kind of a waste. That's why I didn't want to do a grand summon. Yeah, you only get like one opportunity to do something with your Aeons in all these battles lately. So that's why you want to have the overdrives up and ready to roll. Hey Titus, I think you're okay now, actually. So, it's no biggie. You know, that did a good chunk. Did, did a good chunk. Um, we gotta move Waka, so. Titus, you have a lot of HP, the others don't, so I'm gonna get Riku in, hello! Hello, Riku! Okay, we're gonna be using some Albed potions! There you go. Sounds good. Uh, Waka, I guess we just have to move you then. Ah, uh -huh. who's next? Uh, Riku is next again. 
Hmm, let's see. I think we can do Mental Break and some of the other breaks. Uh-oh, he's grumpy. Look at this thing. Get a haircut, hippie! All right, um... Hmm. I'll, I'll summon. Why not? We'll go with uh, Shiva. And yeah, a couple more turns, and I should have this guy. He's not that tough. Uh, yeah, that Berserk can be annoying, but, well, lucky for me, every time, well, the majority of times when he did that kind of attack, it just killed my character, so I didn't have to go through the hassle of using an item to get the effect off. I was just using an item to revive my character. Okay, little Diamond Dusty! Oh, Shiva! She's the game's diva! All right, here we go. Let's, why don't you just do it? Why don't you just do it? Okay. Showing off here. So one more Aeon summon. This thing should be done. Uh, maybe I can finish him off with just regular attacks. Let's see his HP. Ouch! Or, well, it would have been an ouch. Oh no, here comes the glyph mine. <laughs> you are out of here! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> I just like how they tumble through the air. Whoa! Alright, so thank you. Get out. Thank you and get out. Funky battle, right? Uh, don't do it to Yuna. Well, one more. Alright, fine. We'll just summon Ixion. All oh, my characters are hurting, and like, we didn't expect this after a Cloister of Trials. What if, uh, you know, you do a Cloister of Trials, and then after each and every one, you would have to uh, get into a boss battle, you know? Maybe before you get the Aeon, you have to defeat the Aeon in battle. They could have done that. You know, you have to prove your strength. You know, like with Yojimbo. But that was a little different. Okay, so we're gonna do an overdrive, and this battle's done, it seems, huh? That's not that bad. Just gotta make sure you have those Aeons charged up. I win, you lose. summoning go yes give me that AP yeah one more hey there's a couple twos good stuff all right man the whole of the final summoning don't lose your nerve Yuna Uh, it seems like there's kind of a bad vibe going down here, and you could actually hear Jet, probably one of those uh, Pyrefly uh, memory things going on here. No final Aeon? Wait, what's going on? We come all, we came all this way? Uh, 
Oh, did something in the uh, temple here break? Did something here break? Like, no more final Aeon, um, someone cracked the shell of that thing on the floor. The faith was damaged. Water damage, you know, hey, it rains. Ooh, bad stuff. So what does this mean, folks? Well, we're gonna find out there's a save sphere here, and you never know when a little more preparation can be a good thing. So guys, I'm gonna call it a wrap right here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Of course, leave me those comments and tell me what you think. I'm Dave the Usher for The Game Replay. Stay tuned for the next part of Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. I will see you guys next time. I am out.